the snake eater king of the jungle. So she's either got a big old poop in her or she's ovulating. Well behaved. She's such a good fluffer. Hi, dude. Well, just make sure that they stay hydrated. 170 animals here. Yeah. Hey, how are you? How do you do, my YouTube fam? How the heck is everybody doing? Welcome to the channel. It's Tyler Nolan. And this is my snake room. We got Brandon here today. We've been cleaning and doing all sorts of things. We got a lot more to clean, which is what we're going to make today's video about. We got all sorts of cages to clean. Kilo's got shed. We got shed all over the place. Rusty finally shed. After eating a huge meal a few weeks ago, I have a snake thawed out for him, so we're going to be feeding him here shortly. He needs his cage cleaned first, because look at this. He's got all sorts of skin in there. We got all the shed. We got some poopies. Same thing with Shatid. She's got some poop and some shed in here. Kilo, same thing. Everybody just needs some maintenance. Gabby, you're looking thicker than a Snickers, my girl. I love it. Update on the Mangshan Viper since everybody keeps asking questions. Last week, right before I went to Mexico, I fed everything. We took care of all the animals and stuff. And for some reason, they were both on either side of the cage. So normally when they're on either side of the cage, I know it's pretty safe to feed them as long as they're not near each other. These guys have crazy long strike ranges. And my male bit the female right on her head, which is not good. And it was very scary. Her head got a little swollen. She was bleeding. It was not cool. I got sick to my stomach to the point where I almost didn't even want to go to Mexico. I was like, you know what? Like this is, this is crazy. Like I was, it was not good. Right, Brandon? Not good. Not it good at not all. Look good at all. Did not look good at all. Exactly. Oh, said a little prayer. Did a little things. Thank God. The next day, woke up, checked on her. No swelling. No blood. No nothing. She's totally fine. She even ate two chicks the day after. Completely normal. Nothing is wrong with her. Thank you. Jesus. Oh, and then you hear that? Can you hear that? Can you hear that? Can you hear it? Can you hear it? Can you hear it? No, you can't hear it. You don't hear nothing. Because we don't have to have this AC on no more. This thing we're just going to use for circulation and for backup. But me and Josh last night, mostly Josh, because he's an AC guy or used to be an AC guy. Look, this thing is on right now. Can you hear it? No, you can't. Because it's so quiet I gotta tidy up this right here we're gonna we're gonna figure that situation out but that's who, who cares the main thing is is that this is working now and it's awesome because not only is it AC but it also has heat so instead of running these little tiny space heaters in here like I have been doing this little space here when it gets too cold it got what was last night last night it got down to 68 degrees, which, you know, is, is, is chilly. I know all you North people think it's hilarious when we say things are cold in Florida, whatever. It got cold, 68 degrees is not cool for animals, right? They get really cold, make sure that you have heat. We kept it last night. I think this room stayed at like 76, 77 degrees last night, which is perfect for the snakes. Nobody gets super cold and everything is great. All right, so let's get to today's video. We got all sorts of things in the bucket right here to feed, but first, so let's get to taking some animals out for today's video. So let's get to work, baby. First up, the speck. This little Indian cobra. Marshmallow, who I've had for forever. She is a spicy little meatball. But, ooh. Let's see if we can get her to hood. Come on. Can you get a hood from here? Hood from your place? Whoa! Man, she's quick. Gotta be faster. I was trying to just show you how pretty her hood is because she is really, she's really beautiful. Oh, there we go. A little bit of a hood. She's got a really bright yellow hood. It's awesome. That's why we named her Marshmallow. It's because she looks like a toasted marshmallow. Check out this new little holding receptacle. Got this at Home Depot with a clear lid, which is awesome. They're venomous. They didn't even know that they helped design the sweet little thing for the venomous. 
nice and secure. And what I like about this is I can see where the animal is and what the animal is doing while they are inside it, just to make things a little bit on the safer side. Go ahead, hook on top so you know something dangerous is in there. This cage isn't too bad. It's got some pieces of shed in her hide box. Not too crazy. She's got an empty water bowl, so let's go ahead, get her some water. We'll put her back, and then it's time for Shatita. I love this little tiny snake hook. The freaking thing is awesome. The little guy. Never have enough hooks and tools, man. Different size hooks for different size snakes in different scenarios. Gotta have a bunch. Next up is Shatid, my beautiful female king cobra who is a little on the crazy side. And I walked in this morning and I was like, what the heck is going on with her? Thought she scraped herself again, but it's just poop. She got poop all over herself. Gonna have to give you a bath or something there, sweetheart. Yeah, hey, how are you? Hey, going straight up in the air. Look how strong she is. Just goes straight up like that. It's crazy. But we don't want to let her go too far up there because then we won't be able to get her back. It'll be a pain in the butt. But she's doing great. She's doing great, man. Eating like a freaking beast. She's growing like a weed, too. Look how big she's getting. Maybe next year. Eh, but it's probably going to be another year. I want to I wanna make sure that they grow as big as they possibly can before I breed or anything, you know what I mean? But definitely, maybe by the end of next year, she'll be a lot bigger. I actually have some baby ball pythons, or some adolescent ball pythons, that I'm gonna try to feed her. She's never, since she's been in my captivity, she has never eaten a snake. She's strictly just eating rats, because my buddy Mike that I got her from had her moved over to rats, which is fine. It's nice and convenient, especially with how hard it is to find Burmese pythons right now. We might actually have to go make a hunting video soon. I was just talking to Alex today. He doesn't have any snakes. He had a problem with his freezer, lost a bunch of snakes, and then a lot of other people are selling them to these freaking uh, skin people. Instead of us getting these snakes easily all the time, now they're being sold to people for their skins for more money than we were paying for food. And now we're running low. Gotta figure that out soon. Nice and clean. Let's put Queen Shadi back. Hello, ma'am. How are you? Yeah, look how light she's getting. Such a pretty king. I really wish she never had that freaking rub from that bowl, but it is what it is, man. She didn't get too hurt from it. Just go back in her cage. It's nice when she acts like this. She's not being super defensive right now. She just went right back into her cage. You gotta be very careful with the tip of her tail, because sometimes she doesn't shed it completely. And if they have stuck shed on there for too long, it'll actually kill the end of their tail. So you gotta be real careful. Make sure your snakes shed completely every time. That'll get bad quick. All right, locked and secured. Time for my dude, Rusty, who is getting freaking giant. I feel like, dude, every time this snake sheds, I feel like he grows a foot. He doesn't obviously grow an entire foot every time he sheds, but damn, he is just getting giant. Let's go ahead and get him out. be a little bit cautious with him just because there is a snake thought out in this room so you bet your ass he could definitely smell it but look how big Russ is getting dude he is kitty freaking gigantic look at this sweet man hello Russ how are you doing so he's so freaking awesome man I love this guy such a bad ass well-behaved King Cobra. Hey, dude, I got a nice wrap. I got a nice snake for you to eat, dude. You smell it? He's smelling around, being real curious. Just beautiful, dude. Look how light he is. It's crazy how dark he gets before he sheds. Like, I had some friends over, and they were like, oh, my God, this Rusty's a lot darker than I thought he was. I'm like, no, he's not dark. He's freaking light. Like, he's almost, he's almost orange underneath his head. Like, literally, look at that bright ass orange, right? You're awesome. All right, so let's go ahead. Put you, uh, put you in the holding receptacle while I clean your cage. Yours is real dirty, bro. Nice and clean, fresh water, all that good stuff. 
play. Hello, my sweet man. Time to put you back in your cage, my sweet, sweet boy. I love this freaking snake, dude. He's just like the absolute greatest. Like, look at those head scales, dude. Like, just monster head scales. It's freaking crazy. The coolest looking cobra out there, man. Hands down, my absolute favorite. Absolute favorite snake, man. My pet. I consider him my pet. He is my pet king cobra, like for sure. He's my, he's my dude. He's my pet. You know, he doesn't love me, but I love him. He might love me, maybe a little bit. But he definitely knows me. They're extremely smart. Their brains are very similar to birds. And obviously birds know who I am. Birds are very personable. They know me. They know my face. My voice, maybe. You know? He's just such an awesome freaking animal. Right, Russ? You're my favorite. He doesn't even hood up anymore. When was the last time you guys saw him hood? Never. It's awesome. He's just just a big old boy. A big old king cobra noodle. The snake eater king of the jungle. And I gotta wrap the frosting for him like I said prior. So we're just getting everything cleaned first. And then we're gonna give everybody some meals and we'll do a little feeding section of the video at the end. But the first thing we do is get everybody Nice and clean. These guys have a huge poop down here. Gigantic rattlesnake poop. Both of them are looking real, real plump. I even think that she's ovulating. The scales on the back of her body are super plump. You see how separated those scales are? So she's either got a big old poop in her or she's ovulating. Or maybe both. So let's get these guys out of here, clean that poop, give them some fresh water, and then they're good to go. Cause they just ate what? Two days ago they ate, so they're good. So it's time to trade spaces. No, you don't have to take that down. You can leave that up there. Actually, yeah, take that. That'll be more comfortable. So Brandon is actually gonna take the rattlesnakes out and do this cage by himself. I did these guys. Oh, you thirsty mama. I love watching snakes drink. So freaking cool. Look at that. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, you drinking some water too? You got water all over your face, cute man. My turn. Your turn, bro. Be very careful. So let's uh, check out the situation. So they're both right next to each other. Their heads are facing towards the back. So your best bet is to open up this part of the glass. Get him, Get him out from there, yeah. Get him out first and just keep your wits about you. I'm actually gonna film from this side. Yeah, there you go. I'm gonna do right here. Boom. First loop. Perfect. There we go. Nice. There we go. Look at this big old rattle, dude. I love this freaking guy. Man, I cannot wait for Ryan Gradley to produce albinos. Imagine, imagine Batman albino. Imagine that. Look at how freaking thick that rattlesnake is. Woo! If he was all yellow, that'd be crazy, bro. So freaking cool. Now you see how Brandon's holding that hook too? He's using it for leverage right there. Cause that's what you gotta do. These rattlesnakes are super freaking heavy. You gotta have a really good hook. That hook is just ideal. These Midwest hooks, these big old freaking, dude, I love it. Four and a half inch hook right there. Thing is sick. All right, let's get Robin out. Ooh, careful there. Look at that, sister. I'm watching. Just worry about her. I'm keeping an eye on Batman. All right, you're good. All right, Batman's head's right there. Okay, we're good. Look at that. See how he did that? Perfect. Freaking perfect. There we go. Carefully. Put him in here so they don't bite each other. There we go. Beautiful. Killed it. Good job, bro. Thank you. All right. Put the top on. Here we go. And make sure it's nice and locked. Put a hook on there so we know something dangerous is in there. And now your favorite part, that big old poopy.
I know Brandon's cleaning this cage right now, but I want to show you guys something really quick that I got on Amazon. It's really cool. They're, I'm not sponsored. I didn't get this for free. None of that crap. You can go online and find it yourself. I'm not even putting the link down. Little tiny handheld vacuum. You can look it up on Amazon. Just type in handheld vacuum. Okay? Check it out. It's the coolest thing ever. Turn it on. The suction on it is gnarly. And it works so good for all these little cracks and crevices. It's always a pain in the butt with vision cages. Their uh, substrate gets put in these freaking tracks. And it's hard to get out. A little tiny vacuum, don't stand a chance. Nice and clean. Time for B-Dog to put him back though. No. There we go. Let's see. So they should be, they shouldn't be very bitey. Not like they're ever even really ever bitey. So we can do a big old scale, baby. Beautiful. Mm. You good looking rattlesnake, bro. But look at all them buttons, man. Jeez, this thing is so sick. And now, my boy Kilo. Woo! Let's see how he's doing today. Hey, the key. How you doing, my dog? How you doing? You doing okay? You wanna come over here? You wanna come say hi to me? Look at him. He's so defensive in his cage. Touch you. I touch you. I touch you. Enough uh, dangerous joking. Grab a little hook right on. Get this little guy safely. Look how awesome he just stands up. So cool. Dude, you're such a badass cobra, man. Let's get you on out of here, thick boy. He's been eating like crazy. Haven't been giving him big meals because he doesn't really like medium rats. Medium rats, sometimes he'll refuse to eat. But if I offer him, you see that? Freaking, dude, Gabby just took a swing at me. That's not cool. Look how thick he looks good. He's doing awesome, man. Like, he is freaking healthy as a horse. I really want to find him a girlfriend. I just don't want a baby. Chandler has Pearl, which is his his ex, or I guess his I guess it's still his girlfriend. We're gonna hopefully try to breed them soon. But uh, I don't know. She's still a little on the smaller side, so I want to find an actual leucistic to keep here as well to kind of breed him with her. I want to find a bigger one. Anybody has any uh, bigger Lucy female monocles? Hit me up, man. Been looking. So let's go ahead, put this beautiful man in here. Look at him against that black. God, just all white cobra. You can't beat that, man. Just so freaking awesome. Ah, you're so hissy. You hissy, hissy, man. You crazy boy. All right, let's go ahead and get your cage away. All right, Randy gets to put him away. And this thing is awesome, because look, you can just see how he is. He's just down on the bottom. He's hooded it up a little bit, so he looks a little pissy, but that's okay. I can safely use my hand to do this. Right, exactly. It's nice being able to see. I actually had a comment a few weeks ago. Somebody was saying I should cut a hole in the top of this and put maybe like a piece of round plexi on top of this. That'd be a really good idea. It's just, just to know, you know? You can always be safer, you know? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Hi, dude. Whoa, relax. Hey, don't you bite my camera. Man, you're so handsome. All right, let's get him put away. Dude, he looks so good. I love this freaking snake. He looks definitely, definitely one of my favorites. 
I can't really say what's my fave. It's like it's such a hard thing. People always ask me, what's your favorite animal on the ranch? Like, dude, on the ranch? What are you talking about? There's 170 animals here. But just look at that. All white cobra. It's just, phew. he's such a handsome snake. Definitely one of the faves. Dude, he's so freaking cool. He's just all white anything, bro. An all white ball python. Lucy ball python. Yeah, even though it's a freaking ball python, all white. Pretty cool still. How you doing? He's got such a great temperament too. Cage looks nice. Brandon did such a good job fluffing. He's such a good fluffer. It's good. Yeah, it's a good thing you got all that experience. Check out how this baby Gabino is doing. Hello, you cute little baby. Wow, dude. So this little guy shed right before I left for Mexico. And uh, he was honestly on the darker side when I got him. Gianna actually has the full shed, and she's going to Michael's today, I think, to find something cool to put it in. So stay tuned for that on Gianna's story. She's probably going to post it. But just look at how insane the colors are on this little guy. Like, look at that. Look at those reds and the black and just even, like, that periwinkle blue. Dude, this is gonna be an absolute smoke show of a snake. Dude, just, just some of my favorite freaking animals, man. This is just so rad. His little horns are coming in too. You can see those little guys growing. Oh, God, he's so cute. Ghost face, I love you, dude. And now, as you can see, I have a couple different water bowls in here because Gabinos, and, well, Gaboon Viper is just in general, when they're small, they don't really go to their water bowls easily. Sometimes they're not going to find it all the way up here. They're not going to go up and over it. So it's really important that with baby gabinos or baby gaboons, baby puff adders, all that stuff, you do a good soak. That's why I have this wide boy in here. See, every other day I just make sure I take him and I put him in this bigger water bowl. So that way he goes and drinks it like he's doing right now. And just make sure that they stay hydrated. Because sometimes they will not drink on their own if you just let them try to find the bowl on themselves. But just look at how freaking amazing the colors are, dude. Such a beautiful freaking snake. And since we just took out the boy, we gotta take a look at my female as well. Cause she's a freaking smoke show also. So let's go ahead and get her out of here. She just ate yesterday, so I wanna be really careful with her. You can just see the difference in the two. She is really cool because not like anything else I have seen before. Look how she has these little white specks on her. You see these little white areas? I have not seen them on any of them ever, which is really freaking cool. It is just insane. And she's gonna be going into shed soon as well. That's why she's a little bit on the, even, even though she's got some bright colors right now, she's a little bit on the darker side. But she's gonna brighten up a lot when she sheds. And dude, she's a good size snake too. She's a little bit over a year old, and look at the size of her. So awesome. I'm getting some more gaboons soon though. So y'all better stay tuned. It's gonna be freaking crazy. Let's see what we got here. We got this confiscated Eastern Diamondback that got from FWC a few years ago. He always strikes when I open up the cage. Watch. Ready? Every time. Let's go ahead. Yeah, he's a little lunatic. He loves to strike. Very streaky rattlesnake. Hey, dude. You behave yourself. All right. Go ahead. Get him out of here, because we got some shed we gotta get out of here. There's a little pile of poop over by the water bowl, and he needs some water. Let's go ahead, whoop, carefully get him on the hook like that. He's cooperating today. Sometimes, dude, rattlesnakes are really hard to get the hook like this. Sometimes they have to take two hooks and double hook him, but he's behaving somewhat today. Look how big that rattle is getting. He's never broken his rattle either, so this thing is gonna be Super long one day. So let's get him down there. I'm pretty sure this is a boy also. And then that big rattlesnake that Alex has, Pepe, over at his house. Pretty sure that's a female. So sooner than later, I might actually be bringing over this male to Alex. So that way he can uh, try to pair them up together. 
get some babies, you know what I mean? Back you go. Look at this house thing, dude. It's not really brown or yellow or anything. It's such a gray and white rattlesnake. You can really tell the difference on the on the can like this, you know what I mean? Like, really, really cool coloration. That's what I like about Easterns, man. They're always different, you know? Not one. There's not one and one that's the same. Let's go ahead. Hey! Back. Chill out, my guy. I normally don't really like paling this guy just because he's very, very stripy, but he's actually somewhat cooperating today. Right? Cool snake. Get him back in here. Nice and clean. Probably gonna feed you today. Also, what we got? We got the, oh, Penny. She needs some freaking water too. Let's go ahead and take Penny out. Show and tell today. Let's take them all out and show you guys how everybody is doing. She's gotten so much bigger since I've had her. I've probably had this snake for what? I don't know, three years now, something like that. Three, four years. I feel like when I first got on YouTube is when we got her. Crazy story for those of you that don't know. She was sent to me, USPS mail, right to my house, overnight by someone. Not what you want to do. Definitely very illegal. FWC was notified about it. I already talked to them about it and all that stuff years ago. Yeah, so now she's just legally in my care now. Forever. But she's a pretty little copperhead. Not too bad. Sometimes she has an attitude and she'll musk She'll spray me with her little musk and cantile. Ugh. Cantile musk is super gross. And I hate getting musked on, especially when they shoot it at you. Oh, it's so gross. But she is doing great. And her temperament is back to being kind of sweet. Such a cool freaking snake though. Real pretty. All right, so let's go ahead. Oh, you need the cage clean, so I'll go ahead and put you in here. I'm just gonna stick you like that for just now. Give me some new water. That's it. I think she's due for a meal today, too. Oh, yeah, spicy. Go ahead. Got Penny back. Fresh water. Everybody's good now over here. I think it's time to start feeding stuff. I don't know what the heck happened with my camera, but we messed up that part. And look, Rusty's already eating his python. Look at that. Oh, delicious. This python's smelly, bro. A lot smellier than any of the other ones. It's kind of got some, some water, some fluid in it too, but that's all right. It'll be fine for our boy. He's going to slam that thing down. So while he's eating his python, let's start feeding everybody else. Let's feed some snakes. So this guy is going to get a small rat. This freaking Eastern Diamondback right here. Go ahead. There we go. Got a strike. Let that guy go. Let him eat it. This is the Central American Rattlesnake that I got from Mark McCarthy when he was a tiny little baby. He's been on a diet. Or, oops, yeah. He was on a diet over at Chandler's house. Feeding him a lot. And he got, he got a little thick over at Ch Uncle Chandler's. I've been kind of regulating his food since he's been here. But now he's back to he's back to normal. So we're going to go ahead and give you, what is that, like a crawler? That's a good size for you. Here you go, Joe. Would you like a meal? Alright, leave it right there for you. Penny. Let's see, baby. You want a rat crawler? Yeah, this is a good this is a good size meal for her. She's just drinking some water. Hey baby, look. Would you like this? Would you like this? Right here? Look, look right here. Look, I have a meal for you. Come on. Yeah? No? You're gonna be a pain in the butt? Alright, I'm just gonna put it on top of your house and you can eat it whenever you want, sweetheart. Crazy wrinkles spit right here. You're next, guys. Oh, and speaking of wrinkles, Dingo Dinkleman, guys. I'm gonna put the information down below because offhand right now talking, I just don't remember everything exactly, so when you're done watching this video, go to the description on the bottom and read all the details. But we're trying to have like a little tour thing going on right now to where me and the girls we're gonna go to south africa next year probably around my birthday around maybe like april or may area okay and we're gonna invite you guys whoever wants to come out with us it's a whole all-inclusive package 
everything, all, all the details will be down below. Like I said, you can go over to Dingo's website. I'll put a link down there, go check it out. You can see the pricing, what it includes. We're gonna do like a rhino dehorning. We're gonna go save some snakes, relocate some stuff. Obviously hang out with the Dinkelmans and do some fun stuff over there. And you guys are welcome to come with us. So go on the website, check it all out, sign up for it. I think we're doing, I think it's 10 people. So 10 people can come to South Africa with us, hang out with Dingo, and do some really cool stuff. I'm gonna start promoting it a lot, okay? And we're gonna get it done. So April or May of next year, you wanna go to South Africa, hang out with Dingo, let's go. That is where this guy came from. So we do, we can even go catch these if you want, you know? Go out, imagine, hanging out in South Africa with me and Dingo, and we're catching rain call cobras. Cape Cobras, Mambas. Dude, we're gonna see elephants. You know what I'm not doing though? I've, I've seen online, they do this thing when you go to Africa. You can go like squeezes elephant poop and like drinks it and dude, no freaking way am I doing that, bro. So don't even get any ideas, Dingo, if you're watching this. I am not squeezing elephant poop in my mouth. That's a hard no from your boy. Wow. Chinese cobras. This one is in shed right here. His eyes are cloudy, but you never know, man. They got really good appetites. And they still might grab it, even though his eyes are cloudy. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm just gonna put it up there on his hide box. I hope that he eats it. These guys are great eaters, so should grab it. Obviously later today, we'll come back here and check, make sure everything has eaten and pull out whatever has not eaten. See this one right here? Come on. Here we go. Oh, see that one grabbed it. Oh, we let go a little. He's a little scared. Come on. Grab it. Grab it. Hold on. Grab it. Hold on. Oh, there we go. Yes. Perfect. All right. Now these black and white spitters. I'm just going to go ahead, get all the locks off real quick. And as you can see, this one's already trying to bite. They have great feeding responses, man. They just, as soon as you open up these cages, they're biting whatever goes into it. So you gotta be, number one, really careful. Number two, you gotta be real quick. Just because of their speed, man. They'll come flying out of the cage, just grabbing whatever they can grab, man. Just biting aimlessly. You don't want that to be your hand. Because they don't even know what the heck's going on, man. They're just, they're just losing their little minds biting anything. Be way we, way we care. Gonna get these false water cobras some meals, cause I'll, I'll hopefully, if anything goes as planned, next year we're gonna be breeding a good amount of stuff. Which I'm really excited for, because it's been a while since I've had some really good breeding projects going along. Hey, look, no, 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 come on. See, see that? They're so aggressive, it's crazy. That's a spitter, I don't have glasses on. So you wanna be careful. Close that, all right, we're good. Feed some hoggies. See, he wants to eat. Hey, Sunflower, would you like a meal? Look, I need you to eat a nice big meal for me. This might be like the last week that we feed him. And then I'm gonna give them another two weeks to just poop and get everything out of them that they can. So the incubator that I have inside is also a refrigerator and it's empty right now. So, come Thanksgiving, we're gonna set that up and put all these guys into formation which they're gonna be at 55 degrees for a few months. And then come around February time, we're gonna take them out, get them back on a heat, start feeding them again. And then everybody should be breeding. And then we'll get some eggs. And it's gonna be freaking awesome. So let's see if you guys wanna eat. Hello, would you like a meal, please? Would you like a meal? Please, please, please? No, no, okay, we'll just put that right there. Thank you. Mm-hmm, purple lion snow. This is the one that wasn't eating for a while, but he's doing a little bit better now. Kind of, sort of, not really. There you go. Let me see if you want to eat today. Come on. Hey, you want to eat this? Sometimes these hognos are real shy about eating in person. They definitely like to eat when you're not looking at them. So we've got Django right here. Hey, dude. Would you like to eat? Would you like this, sir? Come on. Smell. Give it a little smell, dude. Come on. Come on. Hey, let's go. Come on, dude. No? 
All right, guess nobody's eating on camera today. Over here, what we got over here? We got a little toffee glow. This is, uh, I think that's a male. All right. And then we got all our typo false waters. Put you there. This is uh, Arthur. This is the Het. This is the Het Lab. Let's give you a bigger meal. Here you go, dog. Here, right here. Look, right there. Right there. There you go. Sweet. Freaking crazy. And then this is Annabelle. She's our visual lavender. These guys all need bigger enclosures ASAP. I have all those vision cages that we're gonna move into here soon. All these false waters are gonna be taken out. No more tubs. We're gonna take them all out. The only snakes I'm gonna keep in tubs are gonna be the hogwood snakes. Everything else is gonna be in a nice, big, beautiful vision. Shatid! Give her a nice, big old rat. What's the biggest one we got here? This is like a medium rat. She can eat bigger, but I'm just trying to feed her as often as I can. Once a week, twice a week. Just get some size on her. Let's get her to come out. Come on. Come on out. Come on. Come on, Shatid. Come on. Oh, you're not going to perform today? Everybody's being on the chill side? I think it's because we had some cold weather. Last night, like I said at the beginning of the video, 60, got to 68 degrees last night. A little on the cool side. So everything's a little on the, on the chill side today, you know? Gabby! Let's feed you. My thick, beautiful baby. If I could freaking open up this lock. God, there we go. Hey! What's up, girl? How you doing? 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 Ready? Nice. Hell yeah. Fucking fast as lightning, baby. Look at that. Oop. Look at that. That was dangerous. I don't know why I did that. I just really wanted to. Couldn't fight the urge. Rusty looking plump! Look at that! She Looking all preggy, dude! Everything is nice and clean. Even the floor is nice and clean. Sick. Alright, all the snakes are clean and fed. Hell yeah! But I still got a few things left for the monitors. So we're gonna go out there, feed the monitors, and show you how all those new enclosures and all that stuff. Butters! How you doing, dog? He's a little crazy right now because it's a little bit warmer. It's still kind of chilly outside, though. It's, I think it's around 74 degrees right now, but it's going to get back into the high 60s tonight. The heat boxes have been working so good for them, guys. Like, literally, even if they don't get under it, because it hasn't been getting super cold, even if it does get down to the, the couple nights that we had that were 50, that was cold. We locked them in here. But the nights that it gets down to 60, there's really no reason to have to go in here and lock them in there. I only do that when it's super, super cold. You can just let them crawl underneath the whole hide box and then they still get heat from above through the wood that keeps them just as warm. If not, maybe even a little bit warmer because it's right on top of them. They love it. So I'm gonna throw a couple mice in here for butters, smaller one in there for his girlfriend. Trying to get him to like eat from the tongs, but you can see, he, yeah, see, he's literally back to hiding underneath his hide box. So I'm just gonna put those two mice right there up top for him. These cages are holding up great. Even this one that I got from Joey, like, it's awesome. I'm gonna secure this down, it's kind of sitting on there. But everybody's super happy out here. Let's feed on X. You hungry, my sir? There you go. Are you gonna shake it, rip it up first? How big he's getting? So Onyx just turned two yesterday actually i don't know if you guys follow me on the ig but i made a little post about it two years old yesterday happy belated birthday my dude so i'm just gonna give him a few leave them here and he could do his thing with them and just like that there goes all of our fun we are finished hey shush well off to the next project guys i gotta clean out my garage and organize things well now i gotta clean my garage so i'm gonna spare you guys the pain of watching that hey guys what are you doing you want to say bye to everybody make sure you comment and subscribe to my dad's channel god bless guys i hope you guys are having a great week we appreciate each and every one of you tylernolantattoos.com for all of your merch
help your boy out, support the ranch, we appreciate it. See y'all in the next one. Love you. Later. Adios.